I'm Tony DeGrotti, and this is my studio. I've been uh, working on a lot of different pieces for a new exhibition at Jonathan Farrar Gallery. I started working with books quite by accident. I ran into some images of altered books on the internet and I was interested. And what I liked about it is that different artists were taking the contents and uh, doing some very interesting things. What appeals to me a lot is um, I like the sculptural aspect. As I'm working in a book deciding what images I want to keep in the composition, I get a little thrill as a flat image all of a sudden becomes three-dimensional. There is a great element of improvisation in what I do. When I first start a piece, I usually have a general direction. So I have an idea of where I want to take a composition, but it doesn't always go there because it doesn't work. And that to me is very much like music. If I'm on the bandstand playing with a jazz group, your job is to create a composition based on the form of the piece that you're working with. In choosing books, I look for a lot of different things. I enjoy vintage books and vintage encyclopedia sets. Because of the quality, the paper is usually very chunky and pulpy. It's nice to cut into. And the images are very unusual. So those kind of things appeal to me and those kind of things give a togetherness that I enjoy. My process includes a lot of different methodologies. For each series that I do, there may be a different setup and then a different set of parameters that I'm working with just for the mechanical aspect of the book. I have a freeform series where I use a large coffee table type of book as my blank canvas. So I have another book that's going to be my source for the images. That's one methodology. Another type of methodology would be to take any book and carve a rectangular hole in the cover and then the book becomes its own frame. You can just cut through one page at a time exposing the images that are there and then what I do is harvest the images first and then start adding them back where I want to. I have a series called the Diver Series. It's just the books themselves without the cover and just cut into a rectangular shape. Then my Diffusion Series, which is the title of the show, I take a whole set of encyclopedias and slice each volume up into blocks. From that point, I start designing a small scene on each of the blocks and then assemble the blocks into a large unit which mimics the shape and texture of acoustic diffusion panels, which were initial source of that inspiration. I think when I work with books, what I'm looking to extract is a composition that is cohesive. It's the parameters that are used, it's the format that I'm implying. All of that comes together to create something that is worth looking at.